you know, I wasn't going to do a review on this trailer. I mean, it's a freaking trailer. What am I going to review, right? But I looked at it quickly at the dealer. And um, the more that I look at it now that it's here at home, I got to be honest, I'm, uh, I'm kind of impressed. So we bought a 16-foot um, rock-solid cargo trailer a couple of years ago and converted it into a little mobile workshop, little tool trailer. And unfortunately, what that means is we can't really haul anything in it. And so we needed something to get lumber, oversized goods occasionally. And so we grabbed this 26-foot, um, who's made by covered wagon cargo trailer, really just so that we would have something that we could hook up and go grab, you know, 20-foot boards or whatever we need. And uh, for the price, I got to be honest with you. It, we picked it up from a company called Load Runner Trailers in Jacksonville, Florida. I think I don't know if I paid ten or twelve grand. I think it was I think it was maybe twelve grand. I don't know, thirteen. I don't, I don't know what the price was, but I think it was I think it was like twelve grand. But the point being is, there are rock solid cargo trailers, standard cargo trailers, from companies like Amp and and Freedom and a bunch of others, and they work well. They they get the job done. But I'm just looking at this covered wagon, and I gotta be honest, every time I turn around, there's something about it that is just better. It's just a higher quality. So let me start with the outside, right? I'll explain it as I go through. So, and again, I'm not a trailer expert. I don't know jack about this. I just needed something and I bought it. But on the other one, the front panels had had seams, right? It was it was that that same type of aluminum sheet that gets anchored down. This is not that. This is a solid sheet and it's a heavier gauge material that is just friggin' solid, man. I, I Just solid, solid, solid. Um, and it continues around to this larger panel here on the side. So another one of those large panels, this is a little bit thinner maybe, but it's still much thicker than what's in a standard cargo trailer has an aluminum drip edge on the door, right? And if you notice the height, 96 foot or 96 inch height, which is kind of neat, right? High quality door um, assembly, right? So this door does not feel like the other one. It's, I don't know what's different about it, but it's a more solid construction, better hardware. You know, it's it's wired with a, uh, wired with electronics for the, for the, um, the lighting inside of it. Yeah, lighting. So talk about battery box and such. On the front of this thing, there's two battery boxes. One is for the brakes and one is for the battery to power the lights in there. And so I'm probably gonna put a trickle charge or a solar panel up top and, and uh, or two and power those uh, or charge those with a trickle charger. But just a just a great quality at this point. The um, the gutter that's up there, that, that edge that's on the top of the trailer, I'll show you the other one. Um, well, you've probably seen the other one, but this is like a solid piece. There's no seams, no gaps. Well, actually, that's not true. There is a gap over there. But for the most part, it's just continuous, contiguous aluminum. And um, it's just a solid, I guess it's just a better ridge cap or a ridge, better cap. This door, right? The door, I don't know what it's made out of, but it is a, it is a much more solid structure than what is in the other cargo trailer. It has this dressing on the edges, uh, or this metal cap. Again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but it's just a better constructed product. The um, the other one has three quarter inch ply. This is uh, strand board or OSB. Um, yeah, and let's talk about that, right? This door is heavy as hell. I don't know what is, how the door is constructed, what's different, but the other one was light, and my, my wife can pick it up, this one she cannot. Inside of here, so, the, the ceiling or the roof is a single sheet of aluminum, uh, straight, one, one, one shot, so there's no seams. Uh, 16 on center um, uh, tubing, so I thought that was kind of cool. I know the other one is wider than that. The walls, if you've seen the walls in my other videos, the other one is a is like a half inch plywood and it works, you know, it, they, they put it in and did a nice job and dressed it up with trim pieces and everything. And um, yeah, it was a nice job, but this is just a better finish. I don't know what 
I know it's not a I know it's not a house, it's not a residential structure, but the attention to detail, the type of material that's in here, whatever the hell that strand board is, is just solid and it's smooth. You know, you're not getting a splinter on this. It's just a a better quality product. They've got, you know, flush mounted screws, even the caulking. You know, I mean let's let's get let, let's get to the light. The caulking on this thing even. And again, I know it's not a big deal, but you know, they, they went around and sealed everything. Every single area has this, you know, nice strip of, of, of silicone caulk uh, in every, every major place on the floor. So again, sealing it better, moisture control inside of it, I guess. Just even if it's just attention to detail, I just liked it. This, the wheel wells. The other wheel wells are just welded boxes. And again, nothing wrong with it, gets the job done. This, however, is still a welded box, but it's just such a nice job on, on how it was constructed. And it's a solid, solid um, encasement. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, the floor. More OSB. Um, the other one was plywood. And, you know, even this, the, where the two seams come together. I don't know if you can see that, but that's just, that's the seam. You know? I mean, this is... I've seen houses that have worse construction than this. I don't know. It's just, I'm just shocked. You know, the door, okay? Little reed switch up there, hidden wiring, and of course, you know, internal lighting. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a brand thing. Like I said, I don't know anything about these trailers. This is just, this is number two for us. But um, yeah, covered wagon versus that rock solid cargo trailer that we bought for the or that we built for the tool tool trailer it's um it's just nice even here you know loading and unloading got this this little ramped surface here um i don't know it's just a it's just a better quality product a, a nice attention to detail i i i really i don't know i'm just impressed with it i'll figure out how much i paid i'll, I'll try and stick a link in the um link to the item in in the video details but yeah covered wagon i think if i if i do or when i do buy another one i will um i'll be buying another covered wagon i can tell you that at least that's what my gut is telling me so let me see if i can pop this door open or lift it up with one hand Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, even the hardware. Yeah, that's the other thing. Hardware, I don't know. The hard, the latch hardware and everything just feels like a better quality mechanism. I don't know. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. I didn't really have any intention on making this video in the first place, but I was just so impressed with the construction of this thing that I had to tell somebody. Yeah. Huh covered wagon. I hope this video helps somebody. Take care.